Hey everybody, welcome in. My name is Eric. I'm a part-time reseller. I call the channel the 5 to 9 Hustle because I work a very traditional 9 to 5 corporate gig. You know, your basic 40 hour a week, sit in the office, answer email kind of corporate job. Um, so I have my regular 9 to 5 and then my reselling business is the 5 to 9. Some days that's 5 to 9 a.m., some days it's 5 to 9 p.m., of course it doesn't have to be four hours in a row each day the point is that it's separate from the nine to five so i'm trying to bring that kind of um you know full-time day job part-time res reseller perspective to the channel uh, today's video is going to be a, a very quick tutorial on how to get all of your ebay listings into a spreadsheet oh before i get into that though i also like to occasionally wear some of my bad pickups in a video you know, maybe I can bring a little, little good mojo to this particular piece of inventory and someone will, will come along and, and feel that mojo out in the universe and buy it. So I got this very cool King Tut looking rather too tight shirt for me. Um, yeah, baby. But you see, I could actually fix that if these sleeves zip off. So I could go sleeveless as well if I wanted to. But anyway, that explains the ridiculous shirt. So... There's, I think there's a lot of different benefits to getting all your eBay inventory into a spreadsheet. If you're not organized and you want to get organized, you just want to be a, a quick reference of what all is listed, what's not. Uh, in my case, I wanted to, I was sharing my Poshmark closet and I came across an item that was still listed on Poshmark that had sold on eBay uh, actually a couple weeks ago. So I was like, okay, we need to go through this, see what's cross-posted, what's not cross-posted that should be, what's still cross-posted that should have been taken down because it's sold, and all that kind of stuff. Um, so you know, your options in that case are you could get your phone out and have Poshmark on your phone and eBay on your computer and just kind of go through it like chicken scratch that way. Uh, or Poshmark makes it very easy to get all your inventory in a spreadsheet. Just go to uh, Seller Tools and request the inventory report. It hits your inbox usually within a minute, and you have all your Poshmark listings in a spreadsheet. So I, you know, I work with spreadsheets almost every day at the nine to five. So if I had all my eBay listings in a spreadsheet, it would be very easy for me to match up the two and see what's what's on Poshmark uh, that's not on eBay and vice versa. So let's show you guys how to do that not how to do the matching up part but how to get the ebay listings into a spreadsheet so here's my poshmark inventory report it is already in google drive is how i'm going to be doing it because i don't have office on this mac let's cancel that that was not where i was hoping to be but that's okay uh you know, I'm trying to do everything pretty low production value, one take, don't want to edit if I make a mistake, but we just go with it. So where you want to start at is your active listings in Seller Hub, which is where we are now, listings active. Uh, and side note, this will work if you have 500 or fewer listings, like I've currently got 427. If you have more than 500, you can still do it, but you'll have to do 500 at a time and then combine the spreadsheets with you know copy paste type of deal so clunky but it's still doable so from your active listings just come down to this edit drop down and we're going to edit all the listings which will of course bring up the bulk editing tool which is where we just were but I wanted to make sure you saw where that was. We've got one that can't be processed and we don't know why. Okay, awesome. Maybe it just sold and I don't know it yet. Uh, Cause yeah, I don't know how I could provide an invalid payment or return policy, but so we've, I've only got 426 of my 427 listings, but let's just say it worked. All you're going to do 
is hit the box to select everything. And then in your second drop down right here, it says action. And we are going to choose export to file. I bet you never noticed that was there. And then it asks, do you want a CSV, which is spreadsheet format, or a PDF? I can't imagine why you would want it as a PDF, um, but if that option's there if you want. So export to CSV is already selected. I hit the export button. Yes, go ahead and download. And it's already done. So let's go to Finder. So I've got this file here, listings and the date dot csv so let's take that guy let's put you there let's go to drive there we go let's open it up in drive because uh, like i said i don't have office on this mac it opens it in max baked in spreadsheet thing and i, I don't know how to use it so There we go. Here are all of my listings, except the one that didn't work. So you got title, item number, quantity, custom label, you got your price, you get your format, what duration, condition, so quite a bit of information. But what I'll be using, because one, not all my Poshmark listings have a custom SKU, because I had listings that existed before that Poshmark feature. Um, if they did, I would just match custom SKU to custom SKU and be done pretty easily. But what I'll be doing instead is you get the category. I do sell things other than clothing, so but I will use the category, um, probably sorts. I believe they all start with clothing. There might be some weird sporting goods ones where it's like a golf shirt or something like that. Uh, but I will use sorting basically to get all the clothing items and then they're already sorted by title and I'm going to compare that to Poshmark where I have sorted it by brand I start all my titles for clothing items with the brand name and I'll go through very quickly see what's on Poshmark um, that shouldn't be see what's on eBay that's not cross posted yet make a cross posting list and this time I'm also going to fill in these blank custom SKUs on Poshmark and go through and edit all those listings. So next time I can just match up the custom SKUs and be done. But it's pretty easy. Get all your eBay listings in a spreadsheet using the bulk editor tool. That's how you do it. Let's go get it done.